Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I just want to let you know that Season 2 of Light No Sky is upon us, people. So, yeah, you can see here, I'm a Viking. Now, if you do want to join the 07 Brew Crew, become a Viking. Yes, and if you can, put yourself in red and white sort of garb like I'm showing right here. And if you can, also pick a title that's got Viking in the title. Like Viking at Arms. That's what I've gone with anyway, peeps. Heck yes. And yeah, come here. Try and build a base as close as you can to my own base. Yeah, there's, a, there's an actually a colossal archive just up the hill. Up there. Look, there you go. You can always claim that as your base. Make sure you tame yourself a butterfly. Like one of these little guys. Heck yes. Pretty darn lovely. And then you can ride them across said landscape. I guess I've got myself a butterfly, but I've also got myself a beetle, which I claimed from my Twitch rewards. So there you go, here's my little majestic beetle. Now we're trying to play a no man's sky like it's like no fire. So the general premise is well, if you build a base and build it out of wood and you build it out of stone. And when you want to travel places, you're traveling out in survival mode. And the only means of transport you've got are your mounts. You can't use your ship. The only thing you use your ship for is to call it in like a portable campsite. I guess, people. The rest of the time you're up against sentinels and other players because when you're out in survival mode, make sure you have PvP on. We will be setting quests and general tasks to do on a weekly basis inside of this and then towards the end, once everybody has been given a chance to get upgraded and have their tools all done up we will be moving into pvp to the last man standing and when you say last man standing captain steve what do you mean well we've also got professor cynical here professor cynical the crayola kingdom they're all parading around as gax yes little orangey gax that we're gonna have to annihilate and then we've also got ricey starship emporium yes they're masquerading as the empire yeah, I don't know whether they mean the Star Wars type empire or the UK, British empire, but either way, they're going down. I say that, they won last time. The Gits! Yes, and they're in yellow and they're going to be Corvax, people. So there we go. Corvax, Gek, and the Viking. We all know who's going, who's the best. It's the Viking! Heck yes. Lovely jubbly. So anyway, hopefully you're up for this. Hopefully you want to play No Man's Sky like it's light, no fire. And hopefully you like the general premise and the idea. Now, if you do want to come here and you don't want to take part inside of the PvP, that's fine too. Because at the end of all of this sort of shenanigans, at the end of the season, we will do base tours. And we will actually go and say who the Grand Architect is, who's done the best build. So it's also like a base building sort of thing too. So there's a little bit of something for everyone here, people, inside of the view of us. Shall we go inside of my majestic base? Let's go inside. Let's have a quick look-see. So I haven't done too much in here right now. Yeah, if you do put in any technology, try and hide it as best you can. I mean, I haven't done a great job of hiding that teleporter, have I? But yeah, you can put in a teleporter to go up to the station. The only things that you can buy at the station, though, is maps. So you can go to different waypoints and do missions as and when we set those objectives inside of the game in verse. And if you want the objectives and the daily hit-ups, or the weekly hit-ups, I should say, make sure you're subscribed to your faction leader, myself, Ricey, or the Creator Kingdom, which is cynical, and check their community tabs. Also jump on their Discord, because all of the finds that your hubs are finding are going to be posted on the discord which makes things easier for you technology wise anything that you find on the planet you can install the only weapons that we're banning inside of this event is the geology cannon because it wrecks the terrain and it causes all sorts of other issues but we're also banning the neutron cannon because the neutron cannon ignores shields that our players have installed it's completely op and broken so we found that out in season one yeah quite good fun so anyways if you do want to take part in this we're not giving out the portal code just yet you have to fill it in a google form which uh, cynical has put together and crafted so thank you very much cynical and that link to that google form is inside of the video description along with a link to find all the rules for this event because i've just touched the surface with everything that you need to know but yeah it's great fun it's great fun people in the universe we had a great fun in season one hopefully you can come and join the brew crew or the crayola kingdom or the empire now you might want to align yourself to your favorite content creator or you might want to align yourself to your favorite race inside of game whichever works for you whichever floats your boat mate heck yes 
Anyway, so there you go. I'm going to hit this little save, hit a little save. Done, diddly, and done. And hopefully I'll see you soon, people, inside of Light No Sky. Salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Captain Steve, Captain Steve. Captain, Captain Steve. Thanks all his new members and backers. Thank you, Sir Ominous Gaunt. Thank you, Rob Roll. Thank you, B Turtle. Thank you, 1975 Adam. Thank you, Stephen Jardine. Thank you, Bow Chaser. Thank you, Mike2K. If you can back my channel through membership or Patreon, then keep my channel going on. Oh, seven, Mike UK! <laughs>